I'm Austin with LG, and today I'm gonna show you my take on TikTok Spaghetti. TikTok Spaghetti is actually a riff on Million Dollar Spaghetti. The dish uses a creamy cheese sauce on the bottom and classic bolognese on top. I'm gonna kick this recipe off by making my bolognese. Take a large braising pan and turn the heat on medium high. Once hot, I add my olive oil and get the pan warm. I add my ground beef and hot Italian sausage. Break it up with a spatula or wooden spoon and brown on all sides. While that's going, I dice my veggies, carrots, celery, and onion. Add that to the pan and saute until everything is nice and caramelized. Let's add our spices next. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and oregano. Give it a quick stir and add tomato paste. This is where the flavor and the color of your sauce develops. The longer you let this go in the pan, the more robust your sauce will become. Add in white wine and reduce for five minutes. Be sure to use your spoon to scrape the bottom of the pan. Add Pomodoro tomatoes and cook for 30 to 35 minutes. While this is cooking, let's blanch our pasta. Bring your water to a boil and cook for eight minutes. Our bolognese is still developing, so I'm going to make my cream sauce. In a mixing bowl, combine cream cheese, Parmesan, ricotta, chopped oregano, and whole eggs. I want a larger bowl because when I add the spaghetti, it will melt the mixture and melt together. My bolognese is close to finishing, so now I add in my milk. My pasta is cooked al dente, so I'm going to strain it. I add half the spaghetti to my cream sauce and mix it all together. And then I put the rest right into the pan with the bolognese. Now I'm going to preheat the oven using convection bake at 425. I'm using convection bake because I can speed up my cook time by about 10 minutes. Now let's layer our pasta. Take two cups of bolognese and coat the bottom of the pan. Now add a layer of provolone cheese. Our creamy cheese pasta is next. Try to make it level if you can. Now add the rest of the bolognese and top with some mozzarella, parmesan, and some Italian seasoning, and bake for 30 minutes. I can tell it's finished by the nicely browned cheese and bubbling center. Let it cool and dig in. 